So we, uh, we put this box out and we asked people to write down a sad about things that happened to them in their rooms. And uh, I, I warn you, we've been doing this for a couple of weeks now. It's pretty depressing. <laughs> if you're the kind of person who only came here to hear about happy things, go to the bathroom. I realized the person I loved would never love me back. My brother fucked my girlfriend. <laughs> Several times during a complete mental breakdown, I've tied myself to the bedpost to keep my grip on reality. I tried to zone out the sounds of their screaming and her pain. Crying, terrified boy. My first direction with no clue what was happening. <laughs> my stepfather came in drunk and accused my mom of doing drugs and said I could stay, but she had to go. The world crumbled around me, and I got lost inside myself. My father locked my sister and I in our room and wouldn't let us out to eat that night. You told me not to tell anyone about this. We realized that a five year long relationship boiled down to can we have sex one last time? Never looked back. My shortest relationship was the best I've had. My longest was the worst. I used to make movies where I'd film myself finding ways to end it. My mother told me I was the biggest mistake of her life. She held me one last time. I ran the girl I had a crush on. It took hours to work with the courage I was going to ask her on a date. Her mom answers. She's not home yet, but no need to call back. She doesn't feel the same about you. I had just come in from the shower when she told me he had died. I'm still not over it. Jeremy. I <laughs> love
that. strings. This is Amy and Madeline and Aniella. Aniella? Aniella. Aniella. Whose name I knew I was going to pronounce all night. And still fucked it up. Um, and here, who you will recognize from earlier on, Viola is Jesse from Simple Pleasure. Um, 